Station, this is Houston. Are you ready for the event? Houston, the station, we are ready for the event. All right, the European Space Agency, this is Mission Control Houston. Please call station for voice check. Uh, this is the European. Uh, we see you, Thomas Pesquet, and we see you, and we applaud you. This is a uh, premiere for the Dome in uh, Dubai. We have a lot of questions to ask of you. We have 20 minutes uh, ahead of us, so we have to go very quickly. The first uh, question is uh, by Monsieur Le Drian. Oh, good evening, uh, Mr. Uh, good evening, Thomas. Monsieur Drian is the French Foreign Minister, and we're happy to find you here and to meet you again. Well, uh, from this uh, French pavilion here in Dubai with uh, uh, Mr. Uh, and uh, we have inaugurated the pavilion without you, but without a lot about you. And your presence uh, here with us uh, makes us very happy. And we're very happy to meet you again. So how is it going up in space there? Uh, you're going to be commanding the station within two, two days, and so you're preparing for that, I imagine. Oh, yes, absolutely. I'm sorry that I could not be present, but unfortunately I am uh, <laughs> held here by professional considerations that you will understand. Yes, of course. I think there's a little bit of a delay in the transmission, but I think about you a great deal. Uh, the French Pavilion, effectively, we're here at the space station, and I will be about to take uh, command, which will be a first for Frenchmen, and so it's a lot of work. I have to at least uh, maintain the reputation of France. Uh, 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 my predecessors have established uh, from the European Space Station, and uh, my capacity to work, and I think about you uh, now and then uh, in uh, Dubai, and I'd like very much to be with you, but maybe later. And we have about seven seconds of uh, delay with the space station, with the International Space Station. Another question, uh, Mr. Pesquet, that was uh, presented to us by Mr. Franck, the French uh, minister in charge of foreign minister and of um, uh, economic attractiveness. I give you the word. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Thomas. Thank you, Monsieur Drillon. Thank you for being uh, with us uh, this evening. And so, exactly what is your program for returning, uh, your schedule for returning to Earth? Will you have the possibility of coming here to Dubai to be able to take part in the Dubai Universal Exposition, and especially to be uh, here at the French Pavilion? Well, yes, hello, and I hope to be able to have the occasion to be with you. We have seen no one here uh, except for each other for six months, and so we're not uh, very accustomed to social interaction, but uh, we'll look forward to, uh, except for, of course, the projectors, that, uh, but we will have to adapt ourselves, and I'll have to do so. Uh, I know it's been five or six years. It's very intense work. There will be a lot of scientific experiments that we'll have to complete before we can get back uh, pre, during, and after the uh, trip, and of course uh, using the uh, guinea pigs and uh, returning oneself to uh, the good uh, news is that the expo uh, will last for quite a long time, which will give us a chance to come on over and see, uh, for me to see with my own proper, my own eyes, France's um, uh, exposition. I understand that there's a dome or a cupola there, uh, which. Uh, will be an interesting thing to see after my days at the ESS, European Space Station. Or well, uh, I see you absolutely magnificently. Uh, your uh, visit to the French uh, pavilion, uh, what uh, you've seen it uh, remotely. And I've got to tell you, Mr. Pesquet, our cupola here, our dome is magnificent, but the lights uh, which were uh, uh, built into the architectural uh, concept. I believe this pavilion is placed uh, in light. Uh, a chain of lights uh, which uh, were founded by France, which have enabled its uh, development and its uh, practicability. And so the lights uh, here 
It's also a project uh, for the future. Uh, it's part of the architectural, uh, remarkable architecture that Mr. Pesquet will be able to see when he comes. These lights, in effect, are very large, uh, Mr. Minister uh, Drillon. And uh, what do the uh, lights uh, evoke uh, to you? Uh, have you been able to see them uh, in the, space, the National Space Station? Well, yes, it's a good question. In effect, these lights are, are shine directly, and of course it evokes to me a, a carpet of light, uh, which of course uh, reminds one of uh, Europe, which is the most luminous part of the world, and of course uh, Abu Dhabi, Qatar, that, uh, that entire area also is extremely lit up, and the metaphoric uh, sense of uh, what the lights are, it's an incredible uh, thing to think of. I don't know what happened in order to be able to but all of this infuses in us a catalytic uh, process uh, relating to science, to the social aspects, the cultural aspects. And so we have gained a great deal from it. I hope that this is being repeated today uh, through the Internet, that this uh, uh, is in uh, keeping with the theme of the expert of the expo to share knowledge through Wikipedia and other uh, to extend uh, the encyclopedic knowledge that's available, uh, the knowledge of things, cooperation uh, that France uh, contributes, which is what uh, we wish to bring, of course, to this International Space Station. It's a very international environment. Uh, and I think that uh, uh, Jusca and myself uh, and also the um, Expo uh, in France, all of which contributes to uh, the universal experience. Good evening. Salam al Good evening. Uh, thank you to joining us. Thank you for joining us. Simon Marie is the uh, director for the uh, local uh, space uh, program. Uh, Thomas Pesquet, if you want. Uh, Mr. Thomas Pesquet. Yes, assalamu alaikum. Yes, alaikum. We got it with you. Good evening, Mr. Thomas. Good evening. Good evening. And have you speaking at uh, Al Wafel Dome? As you know, international cooperation is very important for the space industry globally. Uh, today, France and the UAE are very strong partners in many fields, uh, but space is also a very growing and strong field between our two countries. So with Expo happening and us talking about international cooperation, I wanted to ask you, how do you feel about being the France's ambassador to the Expo Pavilion? Thank you. Thank you for your question. I don't know if I should answer in French or English. I'm going to answer, and answer in French. I hope it will be translated. I'd like to congratulate the Emirates for their uh, involvement in the space uh, station. Uh, there will be an orbit in February. All my congratulations for that. And I meet uh, regularly with your Emirati colleagues who are currently uh, training in Houston. We exchange a great deal of uh, information. When we meet in Houston, we see very clearly that space is a matter of uh, a scene for cooperation. It's, more, it's much greater than any nation in the world. And we have uh, it's a unifying force uh, of an ex exceptional sort here in the uh, uh, space station, which the Emirates will be increasingly involved in with us, uh, enhancing cooperation from country to country, and effectively in the name of France, whether it be with the Emirates, with China, or with others. This is uh, founded within a very European uh, enterprise. We present these uh, values. I think that uh, I'm trying to represent France as well as I can, with a great deal of humility, of course, but uh, but these little things uh, which are additionals. In Europe, we have this uh, culture uh, in, our AD, in our DNA to uh, speak and to uh, interact in several languages. There's, very, there's history of being very intermingled. This is what we bring to the program. Uh, we have this uh, diploma, uh, European and French diplomacy, which is a tr uh, part of the international tradition, and this is what I try to uh, contribute uh, in myself, uh, and uh, I think of France also tries to contribute on the world scale. Well, they're going to be with us in a few instances. We have two students, Thomas, a young boy and a young girl, who have some questions for you. Uh, first off, Leah. Hello, Leah. Leah. Hello, Thomas. 
Thank you for being with us. Uh, thanks for being with us, Leah. Uh, and this is from the Georges Pompidou Space Center here in Dubai. Hello, Thomas. Uh, it's no secret that you're involved in research in the International Space Station. So how do you do it? Hello, Leah. Thank you for your question. We do a lot of research uh, in a variety of different areas in medicine and in the material science and technology, evidently in the space sciences. But what we do especially is to uh, bring together all of these uh, various uh, capabilities. It's not uh, the, only the environment of the Spanish uh, station that enables us to do things we cannot do on uh, land. Uh, some of the experiments that I like to do, we've done a lot of as the Japanese, uh, experiment uh, along with the European, American, and Russian, but this, uh, Japan, this Japanese has to do with uh, a study of the crystals that are found throughout the body, and here are the crystals being uh, don't have to support their own weight, which creates uh, very stable and regular structures. And this enables us to uh, build uh, improved proteins within these cells, and this will, uh, over time, will make it possible to uh, deal with medicines and treat them much more specifically and uh, uh, accurately, and uh, they would hopefully to be able to improve uh, melodies uh, involved with uh, DNA, and uh, this is very exciting uh, work to be doing. Unfortunately, we're very uh, constrained by time. I'd like to. So I'm sorry, Sophia. Uh, unable to uh, unable to uh, ask a question. Very sorry about that. When you come back to uh, land, uh, we hope that uh, we'll be able to ask you more questions, uh, uh, Mr. Um, Foreign Minister uh, de Brion. Uh, we've spoken a lot about climate with uh, Mr. Pesquet, and we've spoken a lot about uh, uh, also here at Dubai. We've talked a lot about the climate, and this uh, this matter is something. So again, within the various pavilions, we speak a lot about the uh, climate. The uh, pavilions that I visited, uh, the one uh, of France, and also the one uh, belonging to the Emirates, was also spoken a lot about the climate within the uh, various uh, venues here. In the month uh, in the month of November in Glasgow, there will be an international symposium uh, involving various uh, nations, and in, in which uh, will hopefully uh, plan to make commitments uh, with regard to the uh, to the climate. Uh, however, the commitments and the rendezvous are not sufficient, but uh, we're going to be working throughout October to hope to. Uh, convince people to um, make the choices uh, that they can then commit to during the, uh, the meetings in November. But uh, nonetheless, uh, the deterioration of the uh, climate will continue if we don't make and uh, implement the uh, commitments to uh, take positive steps. And over the uh, succeeding decades, we cannot allow this to be uh, left in the hands of others. We need to be involved personally. I'd like to ask you, Mr. Pesquet, uh, a question, if you don't mind, regarding uh, weather and the climate. Mr. Hilda uh, Thomas. Well, you regularly uh, show us through your photographs the changes of climate. Have you seen a climate change? And what message do you have uh, for us with your photographs? A very short answer. Uh, uh, Thomas, if you wish. Thank you, Sophia, for your question. We have seen changes since the last mission. Uh, we saw a lot of uh, tropical uh, storms, and climatic changes, great, uh, much greater uh, intensity, and also pollution of the uh, pollution of the rivers and so forth. Unfortunately, which require uh, global solutions uh, through the commitment of various nations, uh, scientific measurements, and also uh, measures that need to be taken, and also for this meeting that. Is coming up in Glasgow in the month of uh, November, uh, which will require, hopefully, uh, commitments, major commitments from the various participating countries. Yes, Thomas Pesquet, thank you very much. We will very quickly be cut off. Thank you. Uh, thank all of you for having uh, joined us. I have one last question for Thomas Pesquet. 
You're going to have to become reacclimated to land, uh, living on land. What is involved in this uh, uh, process and work that you'll have to do in order to re uh, adapt yourself to land, to the earth. Yes, there are many things that have to do, be done. The body changes in this fantastic uh, environment, but we lose uh, muscular mass, our um, equilibrium, our balance is totally changed. Uh, we become more fragile, and so it's fairly difficult to readapt. We have to be able to uh, walk again, we have to reaccustom ourselves to all of this, but there are teams uh, that help the astronauts and who will be accompanying us. We are, of course, human uh, pick, uh, guinea pigs in much of this, and uh, we also depend on the, steam, on the experience of teams uh, on a remote basis, and so we're here to also uh, required to provide feedback on how the various interventions affect us and how we are affected by our experience here. We have to readapt ourselves to see people on a regular basis, a normal human interaction. Uh, this uh, is a little bit like it was not a vacation we've been on for six months. We've been extremely bis uh, busy, but uh, We'll have to readapt to modern life and to uh, change environments, and uh, we expect that this will uh, succeed. When you return to Earth, you will come to Dubai, and so we'll um, cross our paths again. Thank you very much, Thomas Pesquet. Thank you for having met with us, for the, to share this experience with you, and thank you all of you for having joined us. Uh, thanks again uh, for your welcome. Thank you, and uh, good work to all of you. And good expo to all of you. Station, this is Houston ACR. That concludes the event. Thank you. Thank you to all participants from ESA Station. We are now resuming operational audio communications.